For this video, what I want to do is show you how to determine if an argument is valid or invalid using a truth table. In order for it to be valid at the end of your truth table, when you've put the whole thing together, all of the statements must be true or you must have a tautology or else it will be invalid. If there is any situation where you have a false statement in the final column, then it's an invalid argument. Okay, so what we have here is we have the premise that if an animal is nocturnal, then it is active at night. We have a second premise that says an owl is nocturnal, and our conclusion is that owls are active at night. So the first thing that we wanna do is write this in symbolic form. So an animal is nocturnal, I'm going to let that be P. So P is going to be the statement, animal is nocturnal. Okay, then I'm going to pick a second variable, Q, to represent the then part. Okay, Q is it is active at night. Okay, so the first statement is telling us that we have if P, then Q. The second statement says an owl is nocturnal, so we have P. And we wanna see if I can reach the conclusion. These three dots right here are read as therefore Q is true, okay? Because active at night is part of this statement here. So what we're going to do essentially is we're going to get to the final statement that if P then Q and P are both true, so if this part is true, then Q is true. Okay, so this is what our final column should look like. If P then Q is true and P is also true, then Q is going to be a true statement. So just like any truth table, you always start with the two statements that you have. So P and Q are going to represent our two statements. And we start with the same pattern, true, true, false, false for the first statement and true, false, true, false for the second statement. Then we start just adding columns to represent all of the things that we need. So our first group that we have is we need an if P, then Q column. So we have an implication or a conditional column that we have to add onto here. Remember that the if then statement is true in every situation except for when the if part is true, followed by a false then part, okay? So if the conclusion is false when the antecedent is true, that's when we would put false. So if the first statement is true while the second statement is true, then we have a true if then statement. If the first statement is true while the second one is false, that is when it is false because the if part is true, but the consequence didn't happen. False true is also true and false false is true. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our next group. Our next group that we have is if P then Q and P is also true. Okay, so we're looking at this group right here. In order for an and statement to be true, the two columns that we are looking at must both be true. So we're looking at this column, P then Q and P. Okay, so we're looking at the statements together. So I have true with true, which is going to be true because they're both true. False with true, since they're not both true, we would put false. False and true is false. True and false is also false. Okay, now we just need to do our final row. So our final row is if P then Q and P then Q. Okay, so we're looking at this column first followed by this column over here. So I would start with true and true, which leads to a true statement because remember the then part is only false. If I have the 
combination true and then false. Okay, so our second one, we're going to look at false and false, which is true. And we always have to look at the grouped part first. False and true, which is also true. False and false, which is also true. And so you can see that at the end, we end up with all true values. So this is known as a tautology, which means it's always true, which means that this is a valid argument. So the argument that we were given, if an animal is nocturnal, then it is active at night. And we're also given that an owl is nocturnal, is nocturnal, then we can reach the valid conclusion that owls are active at night. So this is a valid conclusion because the truth table showed a tautology for the statements in symbolic form. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.